Hi there, Craig Hocknell here. I'm going to share with you an awesome technique with the saber. I made sure that when I created the saber that I could clearly spell out appropriate ball position. Right here at the top end of the saber says the word ball, right? Next to it is chip, pitch, iron, and wood. It requires a little bit of explaining, but here it goes. What you're going to do, let's say I'm playing in this direction, what you're going to do is take your saber, put it on the ground in front of you. Now it's an alignment aid. So you have an alignment rod or an alignment aid with you. Then what you're going to do, let's say I take out a wedge. The first thing you're going to do is take the ball and put it where it says ball. Now I'll put it out here in front of me so that I can see clearly down here near my toes that that ball is 90 degrees out there. What I do then is I take my left foot or my lead foot and I put it really close to the grip or in alignment with that grip. That's going to place my ball position straight here off the inside of my left foot. Now this is something that I took directly from Ben Hogan and was taught this through his books and through other coaches for many many years but I think it's something that's been misplaced in normal you know foundational teaching is how to figure out ball position. So that ball position is right off the inside of the left foot. If I now take my right toe and I put it right here where it says chip, now I'm in a position to make a chip shot. What you'll see is my right toe is closer to the saber, putting my hips slightly open. The appearance, however, is that that ball position, because it's off the inside of my left heel, is now actually in the center of my stance, and it almost seems like, if you lined up my right foot, that it's actually off my right toe. But if I'm chipping in this direction, that ball position is at the bottom of the arc. The bottom of that arc is always proportionate to this left hip. Therefore, if the bottom of the arc is calculated by the pivot of the left hip, your ball position should always be off that left hip. So as I move to a pitch shot, all I'm doing is moving my right foot back. As I move to an iron swing, I'm moving my right foot back, and as I move to a wood or a driver, I'm moving my stance further back. Now the appearance is, by the time I get to my driver, is that that ball is way forward in my stance in comparison to, say, a pitch, which is right here. The reason for this, keeping that ball position in the same place for every shot, is for two reasons. One of them is the precision of the bottom of the arc, the other one is the precision of the powerful hinging and snapping of that left hip. So what I'll do is I'll describe that to you using the saber. So if all I do is trade out my clubs, pick up the saber, I'm going to grab the light in. So what happens now is as I turn to the top on my backswing, let the timing mechanism drop into my hands, what's going to happen is, is as I pivot that hip, I'm going to hit this spot where it's basically going to stop for a second. As it stops, that's when the snap of the ball kicks out. So as I do this and I rotate, there we go. So I spin my left hip and as that left hip gets accelerated and pulled back to a point where it actually stops for a second, that's when the slingshot of centrifugal force comes all the way out. Now this would be the exact same thing if I did it left-handed. So if I then put that ball position off the inside of my right foot, picked up my saber, turned to the top of my backswing, let the timing mechanism drop, the second that my right hip gets to here is when I accelerate through and snap. So again, here to there. So. Ball position is extremely important. It's always off the inside of that left heel, which is also directly under that pelvic region where the hip socket is on your lead foot. By putting the markings on here, it's really helping my students to figure out, oh yeah, chip, pitch, iron, wood. I'm just gonna move my right leg. So hopefully this will also help you. That's a great use of the saber for ball position and alignment.